Hey everyone, DJ Anderson here. In the last two lessons, we've focused on fabrics and stabilization. And I wanted to shoot a quick video and show um, how the software, the Floriani Total Control U software, helps aid you in making the appropriate decisions, not only for the design, but also what stabilizer to use for the design according to the material that you're going to stitch it onto. And this is one of the great features of Floriani Tool Control U in my opinion. Um, this is a feature that's worth the money, worth the cost of the program in my opinion. So uh, I want to make sure that I, I show this to you. Um, this design that I have open, it's one of the free designs that comes with the software. Um, as you know, every month you get free designs. This one was November of 2009. So if you're wanting to look, if you're wondering where this design came from, November 2009 from your library of free monthly designs. And um, I can just show you that here. November 2009, go to designs, and I can scroll through and you can see that that's listed there. So I have this design. It's a you know fairly solid design. It's got a lot of stitches in it. Um, it has, in fact, up here at the top it says 16,661 stitches. So let's say that I want to stitch this out onto um, a knit t-shirt or leather or something like that. Uh, but let's say I, I'm not really sure what I need to do to the design to get it ready um, to stitch on those materials and I don't know what stabilizer to use. Uh, so let's take a look at this and see what the software does with the design and what it recommends. So I'm going to turn 3D view off here because I, I want you to see these stitches and I'm also going to zoom in so that you can see a little bit as I'm running it through save to sew. So I'm zoomed in here a little bit. I'm going to come up to save to sew and on the save to sew window um, save to sew was recently revamped in the software considerably and I think there's been great additions to it. It really helps um, to figure out what you need to do and what steps to take for stitching a design out. And so I hope that you do like those as well. So on the type of fabric, let's first go to knit t-shirt. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to choose knit t-shirt. And if you want to change the settings of the design, um, you check this box right here called new style settings. This will apply new density, new underlay, new compensation, and other settings. As we learned when we were talking about fabrics, that you change a design according to the fabric that you're going to be stitching onto. And it's gonna, you're gonna change things like density, underlay, pull compensation, stitch length, which is uh, kind of comes under this all other settings. And uh, so if I select that, it's going to change this design according to the fabric. So I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit because I want you to focus on this area right here. Since I choose knit t-shirt, as you know, that's a knit material. And we talked a little bit about underlay for knits. And we said it's like what I choose to use. What I like to use is um, a a full lattice underlay so it, it kind of goes in both directions underneath the stitches and um, and then the top stitches get laid over the top and it just provides it kind of helps hold the fabric in place a little bit better so I chose knit t-shirt here and I'm gonna go to next and notice that when I hit next all already you see changes right here let me hit back notice that the underlay in here was going parallel go in the opposite direction of the top stitches but when I change it to a knit t-shirt because we're working with a knit it's going to change that underlay one of the other things I want to point out is that the stitch count changed is if you remember it was at like 16,600 and some well now it's at 18,929 now this throws a lot of people off at times because this is a higher stitch count than the original but I want to point out that this design was obviously digitized for a woven fabric. And a woven fabric needs less stitches. It needs less underlay and things like that. So just because the stitch count goes up, that doesn't mean that it did something wrong. In fact, it added the stitches that are needed to help support on that knit material. So I just wanted to point that out. And I'll show you too when we go back to and go to a different 
material type, it'll change the stitch count up there as well. So the great thing about Save to Sew is it's already changed the design, but now it's going to tell me what I need to do with the design. So it's going to say step one, fuse cutaway medium to the back of the fabric and then hoop it. So it's recommending using cutaway medium fusible as the stabilizer and you're going to hoop that. Other great thing about Save to Sew, if you're not sure how to use the what the product is or how to use it, there's a link to watch a video or there's a link to find more information about it. It will open up your web browser and you'll be able to watch a video or you'll be able to find out the documentation on the product. That's just a great addition. Not only that, but you have special instructions down at the bottom that will tell you what you can do if the design is large or dense, overly dense or poorly digitized. Um, substitution um, products you can do, so you can use water soluble as opposed to heat and gone, it's your personal preference, and what needle to use. So there's a lot of information right here that's gonna help you um, stitch this out successfully onto the material that you're gonna stitch it to. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna choose a different stabilizer. This time I'm gonna choose leather. And leather is a lot different um, than working with a knit. And so you're gonna see quite a bit of changes here. So I'm gonna apply new settings and I'm gonna hit next. Notice I'm at 16661. This is the original design because I kind of undid the previous knit t-shirt fabric setting. So now I'm going to go to leather. I'm going to hit next. So if I look up top here, now we're at 16,085. So actually the stitch count went down because I chose leather. And the reason it did that is because leather, you're going to utilize lighter stitching. And so it actually took some stitches out or lightened the densities of different objects here. Now it's telling me a totally different stabilizer to use. So now saying use Floriani Perfect Stick Cutaway, which is a newer product, which is a phenomenal product um, because you can't hoop leather. You're going to hoop a piece of this Perfect Stick Cutaway. You're going to sear, um, like make an X in it, and you're going to peel it back. So this image kind of shows you what you need to do. And then in step two, you're going to place the item onto the sticky stabilizer and then you're going to stitch it out. So it's just because I chose a different product or a different material, it's given me all different settings and different stabilizer recommendations. So it's really powerful. Let me go ahead and hit cancel. I want to show you because when we did the knit, I'm going to come back here and let me go to knit t-shirt because I do want to show you, point out just how interactive this really is. So if I go to a new uh, knit t-shirt and I go to next, Notice that it's recommending Floriani Cutaway Medium Fusible. And the reason for this is because this design has like 18,000 stitches as a high stitch count. And whenever you're working with a higher stitch count design, the cutaway medium is going to provide the best base for you. There's other cutaway um, stabilizers out there like our No-Show Nylon Mesh. And the no-show nylon mesh is a wonderful product, but when you're working with a stitch count this high, the cutaway medium fusible will work a little better. So let's go and let's look at another design that has a little bit less stitches to it and see what the software recommends in that situation. So let me go ahead and hit cancel here. I'm gonna to go to this design, which is a free monthly design, came out in September of 2016. So if you're looking at it under the library under free monthly designs, if you went to September 2016, this design would show up in here. And this is a applique design. So it's meant to have some fabric behind part of it. And this is not a mistake, it is offset here. It's to add to the look. Um, this is a very popular trend right now is to kind of offset things and make it not look so perfect. Um, it's a really cool effect and but you'll see in this design there's only 2197 stitches so let's go to save to sew and let's choose the knit t-shirt because we know with the knit t-shirt on the previous design that it recommended using the cutaway medium fusible 
So if I hit next now, notice that it says utilize Floriani no-show mesh. That's because this is a lighter design. And so the software will take a look at your stitch count in your design, the size of it, and it will make changes to the settings. And it will also recommend the right stabilizer for the size and the stitch count of the design. So this is an incredible tool and I hope that, that you utilize it. Now, even if you are an experienced digitizer, this is a very helpful tool. I don't usually have the software change the settings because when I'm digitizing something, I'm digitizing it for the item I'm going to stitch it onto. So I will apply the settings as I go because I like to. I like to have that control. And um, I know a lot of experienced digitizers do as well. So if I was coming into the software and if I was getting ready to stitch it out, um, I might not want to change anything in the design. I might not want to change the density underlay, or I might just want to change underlay only. Um, I could do that by unchecking these, but if I knew that I had the design set up how I wanted, I would uncheck this box right here and go to next just to see what the stabilizer recommendations are. So regardless if you're an experienced digitizer or not, there's great power and value in save to sew. And I highly recommend that you utilize it to make sure that you're getting the proper stabilization uh, formula for your fabric and the design. Because it doesn't matter how good your design is digitized, if you're stitching it onto a material and you don't have the right combination of stabilizer, the result will not be as good. And a lot of times you don't see the issues until after an item's been laundered. It's extremely important to not only get the design correct for the fabric, but to also get the stabilizer correct for the fabric. Because it's the combination of the three things, the stabilizer, the fabric, and the design that make up the embroidery. And so you have to account for the fabric. You have to look at the design and know that hey this design has 18,000 stitches in it because it has so many stitches in a small area it's better to use the the Floriani cutaway medium fusible as opposed to the no-show nylon mesh fusible you might not remember these things uh, depending on how much you do embroidery how many times a week you stitch something out so it's just good to go in there and see what the software recommends and this is just one of the great things about being a Floriani Total Control U owner. If you have the software, this is at your fingertips, you're in luck. If you don't utilize Floriani Total Control U software, I highly recommend you doing that because you want to make sure you get everything right. You spend so much time doing a design and you spend money on the material you're going to stitch onto. And even if you're giving it away or you're keeping the item for yourself, you want to make sure it looks as good as it possibly can. Prepping the design for the fabric and choosing the correct stabilizer for the fabric and the design is going to ensure that you get the best result. So hopefully you utilize Save to Sew every time before you go to stitch out an item so that you can get the right combination with uh, with your embroidery. So I hope this helps. I just wanted to show you um, how the software will help you with uh, learning what to do with fabrics um, for design and for stabilization. So hope you enjoyed.